Hi, welcome to ComWave. By now, you may have received your package with your ComWave equipment. It usually takes about five to seven days. If you haven't received it, don't worry. You can still watch, but please look out for the package. A tracking number would have been sent to you by email. If you don't have either the package or the tracking number, feel free to contact customer service at the number right here. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to set up three services, ComWave Internet and Wi-Fi, ComWave TV, and ComWave Home Phone. If you don't have all three services, you can skip forward anytime. Okay, so let's start off with internet. ComWave uses the same cables in the ground that belong to either the cable company or the phone company. And we use those same wires to deliver our internet service to you. So it's their wires, but our service. So one of their technicians will be coming to your home to do the installation at your scheduled appointment. Once they complete their work, all you have to do is make a few simple connections and that's what I'm here to guide you through. The internet modem looks like either one of these. There's a cable internet modem that connects to the cable wires in your home or a DSL modem that connects to the phone line in your home. We sent you a particular modem based on the wires in your neighborhood and the speed of internet you select cable jack or a phone jack using the wires we supplied you. A cable internet connection uses a round coax wire that connects here on the modem. And the other end of this wire connects to a cable jack somewhere on the wall in your home. The installation technician may have already done this for you. A DSL internet connection uses a telephone jack that connects here on the modem and the other side to a phone jack somewhere on the wall in your home. The installation technician may have already done this for you. Now, let's make sure your Wi-Fi is working. Each modem has a sticker with the Wi-Fi SSID. That's the name of the network and a password. You will need to enter the password into your computer, tablet, or phone. Now let's see what this looks like on my phone. First, go to Settings, then select Wi-Fi. Now, you may see some nearby Wi-Fi networks appear, but we're looking for the name that we saw on the sticker, and here it is. I'll select that, and then I'll be prompted for the password. I'll enter the same password as on the sticker, and that's it. Now I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. Keep this password handy in case you have guests or other devices to connect to. And you will also need this password for ComWave TV. If you have a Windows computer, Mac, or any other device, it's a similar process of searching for the Wi-Fi network, then selecting and inputting the password. Now, let's move on to installing ComWave TV. Today we use the Amazon Fire Stick which looks like this. It's sleek, small, and hides well behind your TV. This will take three steps. Connecting your Fire Stick to your TV, connecting to your Wi-Fi, and downloading the ComWave TV app. So first you plug this Fire Stick into any available HDMI port on the TV. Let's turn the TV around. This is an HDMI port and carefully insert it in just like that. If you find that it's a tight fit, you can use the supplied extension. Please remember the HDMI port number you used. In this case, I used HDMI port number one. Now I will connect the Fire Stick to power using the power supply provided. If you don't have an available power outlet behind your TV, you can also plug the power into a USB port on the TV. Many TVs have that. It looks like this. Now, let's turn on your TV using your TV remote 
and switch to the HDMI input that you chose to install the Fire Stick. In this case, we're going to select HDMI 1 because as you recall, that's where I plugged my Fire Stick. Let's just follow the Amazon setup process, including connecting to the Wi-Fi that we previously set up. Please allow for the Fire Stick to install the latest updates. After that, you can sign in with your Amazon account if you have one or create a free account. At the end of this setup, this little Amazon Fire Stick remote will turn your TV on and off and control the volume. You won't really need your old remote. Now that the Fire Stick is all set up, you're probably wondering, how do you watch TV and start changing channels? So, just like there is an app for Netflix or YouTube, we need to download the Comwave TV app. Press the home button on the Fire Stick remote and then click on find and then search. Now, using your Fire Stick remote, type Comwave in full. The Comwave TV logo will appear. Click it to download the app. Now, let's get the Comwave TV app to the main page so you can access it quickly. Press the home button on your Fire Stick remote and then scroll to this icon on the right. All your apps are kept here. Highlight the Comwave app and press this button on your remote. Then select Move to Front. That's it. Press the home button again and you will see the Comwave TV app on the main page. Now open the Comwave app and enter your username and password that was emailed to you in your Comwave welcome email. Take the time to explore the menu. Here are some things you can do. Record your shows, pause live shows, watch TV shows from the beginning by pressing start over, moving to the left on the guide and watch shows that have ended. We call that back in time. And if you have an Apple iPhone or iPad, you can even watch TV while you're on the balcony. Remember though, to watch on your mobile phone, you have to be on your home internet Wi-Fi. It won't work on someone else's Wi-Fi. Now let's install Comwave Home Phone. You would have received a box that looks like this. On the back, there's a WAN port. Plug the network cable to the WAN port and the other end to any available port on the back of the internet modem, right here. Now. Let's connect the telephone to the port one on the Comwave box. I suggest a cordless phone. Some of them come with multiple handsets that you can place around your house. Finally, we will connect the power supply. That's it. The box lights will flicker for a few minutes. And then in about two minutes, you should hear dial tone and be ready to make and receive telephone calls. And this concludes our installation. If you need further assistance with installing, feel free to contact customer service at the number right here.